Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. This video will lead us to the demo of infrequent biter item set mining using frequent pattern growth. The discovery of infrequent and weighted item sets, that is, the infrequent item sets from the transactional data sets. The infrequent weighted item set support measure is defined as a weighted frequency of occurrence of an item set in the analyzed data. The infrequent weighted item set support minimum measure which relies on a minimal cost function. The infrequent weighted item set support maximum measure which relies on the maximum cost function. The weighted transaction data set is the input for the project. The, this data set is created at every time if you run the project. This data set is created by five systems system A, system B, system C, system D and system E. These are the five systems using in this transaction data set. The utilization of these systems is taken as input in the weighted transaction data set. And then next we find out the weighting function of this weighted transaction data set. The weighting function is very useful to the infrequent support minimum function. The infrequent weighted item set support minimum function is calculated for all these transactions in the data set. The weighted transaction equivalence is find out by using the weighted transaction data set. The weighted transaction equivalence is based on the original data set. It is just related to the original data set. It has some calculations to generate the equivalence weighted transaction set. Using this equivalent transaction set, we calculate the infrequent weighted item set support. Then the threshold is calculated for all these data. If a system is below the threshold means then it is taken for the consideration otherwise it is not considered. Using the infrequent weighted item set minor algorithm we can find the common systems in between the weighted transaction data set and the equivalence weighted transaction. The combination of these two are getting the infrequent weighted item set minor. And then the transactions included in these common types are taken as an output. Now let us see the demo of infrequent weighted item set mining using frequent pattern growth. First of all just click the items. Here we can see the items that placed in the system A, B, C, D and E. Now let us see the utilization of these items. There are 5 items that are system A, system B, system C, system D and system E. In first row there is a value called 21. It is called as the system A is utilized as 21% and then the system B is utilized as 4% and then the system C is utilized as 26%. Likewise the utilization of these right systems are calculated and show it here. Now click database. We are just inserting these details into the database. The weighted transaction data set is saved in the database. Click OK. Now we have to calculate the weighting function. Now we have to find out the minimum weight. Now in the first transaction we are, we are calculating the minimum utilized system. In first transaction the minimum utilized system is system B. In the second transaction, the minimum utilized system is system C. Likewise, we are calculating the minimum weight for all the transactions. And then we are also find out the maximum weight of the transactions. In the first transaction, the maximum utilized system is system C. And then in the second transaction, the maximum utilized system is system A. Likewise, we are calculating the maximum weight for all these transactions and then we are going to find the support value of this transaction.
the support value for system A is 11 and the support value for system B is 10. The support value for system C is 9. Likewise, uh, support value of all the systems are calculated. Now we have to find the infrequent weighted item set support. There are three levels in this infrequent weighted item set support minimum. In the first level, we are find out we are calculating all the values in the system five systems and then in the level two we are comparing the two systems and find the minimum value and then we calculate the minimum value only likewise we are comparing system a system b system a system c we are comparing all the systems like this wise and then in level three we are comparing the three systems and then we find the minimum value in the three systems that is considered for the calculation and then press next now we have to find out the threshold value for the level 3 it is used in our project for finding the frequent items now press the calculate button now the threshold value for this data set is 1134 system ABC combination is satisfied in this threshold value and then the system AC E combination is also satisfied in this threshold value <laughs> the unsatisfied system combinations are not considered now press next now the minimum infrequent weighted item set is calculating by in each transaction find out the minimum in these five systems and then the minimums and then in the all the minimums are calculated and then using that we find out the threshold value now press calculate button now the threshold value for threshold value is 1134 now the minimum infrequent weighted item set value is 682 this is the minimum infrequent weighted item set value it is satisfied in the threshold value now press next now the original transaction is shown here and then we have to find the equivalent weighted transaction now press this button this is the equivalent weighted transaction in this transaction in the original transaction the minimum value is 4 so we have to first apply 4 to system A and then in the original transaction the next minimum value is 8 for that we are adding 4 to system B so both of them is calculated as 8 the next one is system D it is having 90 already we are having 4 plus 4 8 so we are adding 11 to 8 then we are getting the system d utilization and then the distance between the system d and the system a is 2 so we are adding 2 and then the system the distance between the system a and the system c is 5 so we are finally set 5 to system e likewise in all the transactions we are calculating the equal weighted transaction now press next for this equivalent weighted transaction we are applying the level 1 2 3 in the first level we are calculating the infrequent weighted item set support value in the level 1 the infrequent weighted item set support value of all the systems are calculated in the level 2 we are comparing the two systems and then find the infrequent weighted item set value in level 3 we are comparing the three systems and find the support value now press next now also we have to find the threshold value for this equivalent weighted transaction data set now press calculate now we are having the threshold value as 303 system a b d and system a b e like these systems combinations are satisfied in this threshold value now press next we are getting the output of transaction data set as these four system combinations and then we are getting the output as equivalent transaction data set is these five systems combination now applying the infrequent weighted item set minor algorithm in this algorithm we can find out the combination of this transaction data set and equivalent weighted transaction set the system abe combination is present in both the equivalent and the transaction data set now the ade this system combination and the bde these system combinations are also present in the transaction data set and in the equivalent transaction set 
now we have to find out the infrequent weighted item set mining it is a yeah, next algorithm using this we can get the output now press infrequent weighted item set mining button then we can get the output value this is the output these are the transactions we are frequently used